we have an issue with the trailer. Of course, you don't see anything right now because I'm rolling the camera, but there is another issue with this trailer, which I didn't tell you guys in the last video. This is called the Papa trailer. Uh, I asked the YouTube channel years ago what I should call the trailer, and the voted on, the most voted on response was the Papa trailer, and Papa stands for propane and propane accessories, because typically there are propane tanks on the front. But uh, anyway, Papa trailer is throwing some errors. It's not happening right now, but probably 20 seconds after I put this thing in drive, it is in drive, after I drive, it's gonna say, check trailer wiring. Trailer wiring is fine. Lights are fine, lights are all working, everything works as it should. But it says check trailer wiring, and then about two seconds later it says trailer connected. And then, I don't know, maybe five minutes later, five seconds later, 20 minutes later, who knows how long it's gonna take, the next prompt will come up, check trailer wiring. And there's nothing you can do about it going down the road, and there's no problem with the wiring that I know of. I'm gonna double check and make sure everything is good on the trailer side. I don't recall it doing this with the Avion, so it could just be a trailer issue. I don't know, but I uh, got that. I got my shocks. I'm gonna go install the shocks and double check the wiring and uh, then this trailer will be ready to go. I'm about a mile and a half down the road and it's probably happened about 15 times already. It is incredibly frustrating. I really hope it's just uh, an issue with the truck looking for brakes and there are no brakes on this trailer because it's a small utility trailer there we go just constant just constant there is no end to it oh look they're connected oh no they're not <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try to figure this out today but I there it is again I'm not too hopeful that we're gonna resolve this issue and I think I'm just gonna have to deal with the ding 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 <sighs> there's no bypass for it um, I, I hope that it's just improperly wired and I can rewire it today and fix it. Cool. Uh, only 29 minutes to go to get to Rick's. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a long drive. So something that's really cool about this truck is that when you're trailering, uh, it gives you all this information on the trailer and the truck, your fuel economy while you're pulling it. I mean, honestly, more than I need to know. But one of the best things is when you hit the turn signal and you're trailering, it gives you a camera view right here whenever you hit the turn signal. Tell me that is not cool. I love that. Love it. You what gotta, are you doing? You gotta make some. Uh, what are you doing under there? Some clickbait stuff like get blew up on us or something. My trailer has killed Rick. You definitely look dead. It's beautiful here today in North Carolina, guys and gals. It is beautiful. It's like yeah. 70s, isn't it? Yeah. I think the, high, the wife said the high today was like 76 or 77. So. Here we got an ND filter today. That makes us a whole lot easier. Yep. Taylor's back at the shop today. I'm an idiot. Hang on. Hey, he's an idiot. I knew that I was going to need shock. Well, I might need shocks. So I went to Advance Auto and got these. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. <laughs> these are huge. Totally the wrong size. Well, okay. So the size difference didn't look that big online, right? You couldn't tell the, di that's the what, diameter. That's what. So <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> But the length difference was like an inch and a half. Oh, this okay. Well, so, it, so it, it should so it be. should still fit. Yeah, maybe it's already riding low. So if I run it at pretty low pressure, it should be okay, right? I don't know anything about air shocks. I don't either. <laughs> uh, good news is I can return these and get the others, and they're cheaper. But there's even better news. We're gonna have to get under the trailer. So the better news, that shock over there, this shock right here, we couldn't get air in last week, so it's not. It's fully defl or deflated. It's not deflated. It's just it not has no pressure. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. pressure. Yeah. This one is holding air. So we did get air in this one, and I think the valve stem out here. Yeah, is that how's that connected? Oh, here we go. I think the valve stem that was connected to this line is just bad. I think because these definitely held air last time I used the trailer, which of course the rubber could have dry rotted, but. I think the best plan of action, I got the kit for the just the air hose, I think the best plan of action is to replace that before I replace the shocks and see if this shock holds air, because if it holds air, then we don't have to worry about replacing the shocks and I can return those and get like $90 back. I think that's a whole lot easier. I mean, that's not gonna be hard to replace the shocks, but just for running that line again and getting this new line in there shouldn't be too difficult. You think? I think it'll be easy. Excellent. Rick is trying to give me some fake life hacks. No, it's legit. 
you don't cut point. don't cut bags unless you're going to empty the contents don't cut on a seam or an edge because when they pour out you cut from the center and then you can weed stuff out and stuff doesn't fall big stuff doesn't fall, <laughs> big big stuff stuff. Doesn't fall out nice you get little, stuff that comes out. Little curator bead, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what it is, yeah. This right here. If we just screw that in and try to put air. Yeah. <laughs> it may just work. Yeah, true. The so, O-ring's already in there, so we we'll bring that O-ring to the So theoretically, front. we may not even have to really do a whole lot of work today. Wouldn't that be great? Would be. Because everybody hates doing work, especially Taylor. I really hate doing work. <laughs> God, would that be a killer fix or what? Just, just put the new valve stem on it instead of replacing the whole shock. Yeah, look how low that's riding. Normally, there's about a four-inch gap between the fender well and the tire. But right now, there's about maybe an inch and a half. The beauty of this thing, too, is it's like a free exercise. Yeah, maybe I should use it. It's just, it's actually, it's actually really it's, not that big. It's not heavy it at all. It teeters so well. It's like going yeah. up, you have to stop it from going up. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very lightweight. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean you can side. see, if you just do this, yeah. Yeah, it may not show on video well, but it is canted pretty <laughs> pretty hard to the right side, to the driver's side. Yeah, what is that sludge over there? You got a biohazard over here. No, it's cheese. I'm making cheese. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> I need to get, uh some hazmat or not hazmat some uh guy crew that comes out and vacuums that stuff up i've never hooked up an air hose in my life <laughs> i don't i don't know how to do anything that's why i come here so you just do everything for me yeah pretty much hey will you edit for me that'd be great yeah, i hate it you got your air uh here checker right uh pressure in gauge the in the truck i do there she be Stop. Yeah. Uh, I think it went back down. So break that line off. See if uh, if the air comes out. Yeah, there you go. What? <laughs> yeah, air came out. <laughs> this is that clickbait stuff I wanted. Oh my God. That was hilarious. <laughs> yep, air came out. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can go with mouse. Oh, sorry, that's that. hilarious. Yeah, you may have to put a short piece of hose or tubing rather. Goodbye, so like the shocks the that you got. Um, the only difference was the stroke on them and the capacity. Yeah, a little thicker diameter too. Cool. Just gotta make sure the posts are the same size before you start pulling them yeah. down. Well, worst case, I can go buy another set. Pretty high up there. I would jack it from the axle, honestly, and then put so? yeah, and then put the uh, the jack stands under the axle. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can't do that. What? Yeah, if you jack the axle, then yeah, we gotta what, have the yeah, frame up. The frame up. You're right. That's probably not gonna lift it. Honestly, we have to get some boards to put it under. Are your jack stands gonna be tall enough? I don't know. So what's the plan? Uh, let's try to jack this thing up. This we'll probably need to replace this thing. This one's been. It's seen better days. Rick, we got a problem. I said, we got a problem. <laughs> it's not the same size. Well, shit. So we got a problem now. The hole's no worky. These holes are different sizes. So the pins that are in there don't fit inside that hole. It's uh, ever so slightly too big. A worst case, if it doesn't work, we can pull this bushing out here and then uh, bore it out to fit. Cause it is, I mean, you can go in there and check. It's really close. Yeah, we got it. Taylor's back again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went to Advance Auto three times today. So here's the old shot. 
that is busted. We pushed this bushing out. This is the new one, so this is one of the problems. The other one had a bigger opening, but it was a half inch opening. The pin is probably at least a half inch, if not just slightly more. It's this opening inch, yeah. is 0.6 inches, so just a hair over. So I went back, we just beat the shit out of this bushing to get this- Roll pin out, yeah. Yeah, the pin out and the other bushing. And, uh, Put this bushing in its place you can't even tell look those bushings are actually in good shape this is an old one yeah. so we got to do that three more times i actually have to get the other shock off too but let's get this one on and then make sure everything works right i mean i'm sure it will but we got to get this bushing out and this one out that's good this is supposed to be like a plug and play job now we're out here beating and banging on these things actually we just put it in arbor press didn't we that was the best process, the best way to get it out. I'm gonna need a second hand. Third Put that hand. down, yeah. <laughs> Boop. All Boom. right, the drone's a machine. Like a glove. Nice. Is it going up? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now it's down. Yeah. I'm so close I can't see. Yep, she's lifting. I don't know how much to go. Go till you don't want to go no more. E. That's good news, right? <laughs> So it's like 20 hours later, I think we got the shock settled yesterday, but I wanted to fix the electrical issue so I don't have to listen to that chiming the whole way to the campground. And I think I may have solved the issue. I took this apart and this red cable just fell off. And I don't know what this is because these colors do not match any of the standard colors that I'm reading about on this little chart here. So I pulled up, I found this online for how this should be wired and none of these none of these wires are the right color I did everything I could I put it back together I don't know if I had, if it's wired correctly I looked up wiring diagrams and there were a bunch of them and they all use different colors so the trouble with these is that they use originally a 12 pin connector for the military and they sell a, a connector to a seven like an adapter to a seven pin and i may just get that wiring harness and install it because that might just make this whole thing easier because right now there's definitely something running to the brake connection here and there are no brakes on this trailer so i think that's where my issue is coming from i don't think i saw it i'm also <laughs> draining all the water because i have a leak which you can see right there last time i moved it something hit that that outlet uh, not an inlet it's actually an outlet something hit it knocked it loose and i've had a slow leak ever since my garage was filled with water so got to finish draining this repair that and that's the last thing i'm going to do before we go camping so as you might be able to see i sealed this hose hopefully it holds uh, it actually threaded in i didn't think it would but it did actually thread in so I got that done. You can also see what the tarp is for. It just kind of goes down and covers some things so that not everything gets drenched on the inside, protects the wires. And then I cleaned out the little kitchen area, put some paper towels up in here, put some bins in here with storage for different things. Started putting some pots and pans, magnetizing them to the back. And that's it, everything 
is going well. The, the suspension seems to be holding up the new shocks. The only thing I didn't really get to solve is the wiring and I'm not sure whether I can without just getting a new wiring harness or rewiring the whole thing. But, oh well. It's, uh, it's camp ready, road ready. Can't wait to use it. Well, as you can probably hear right now, it's raining and it started raining before I finished everything I wanted to get done on the trailer, but I think I got everything done that I needed to get done for this weekend. I mean, like I said, we're just going to a campground. It's nothing major. I'm just overly excited about this trip because I've not been in so long and I'm so excited for Eleanor to get into the woods really for the first time ever. So I got everything done for the trailer that I think one that I could get done and that needed to be done. We are leaving tomorrow morning and going to be gone for a few days and I, I'm just excited to be into the woods. Not doing anything hardcore but I do hope to go fishing and just step away for a minute and not have my phone constantly buzzing and going off. But I guess that's probably where I should wrap this one up. Uh, I did hope to put this away before the remnants of the hurricane hit, but it didn't. It started raining before I got home from the podcast last night, and I just had to leave the trailer where it was and, I guess, water test it. It's watertight. It's doing great. I didn't really expect anything else. This, thing, this tent has been rock solid ever since day one, uh, and honestly, it's really great. I just need a new cover for it, to be completely honest. Uh, anyway. I'm sitting in here in my front yard or in the road. It's raining and uh, I'm just going to wait for a pause in the rain to put it away. And we're just going to have to leave it wet for a day or so before we go deploy it in the woods again. Thanks again for hanging out guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. I also have another channel called Best Day MEDC, a podcast called Whiskey Knife Fight, and a store called Carry Commission. But uh, again, thanks for hanging out guys and I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be in the woods. See you then.